morning. Uh, I was having some trouble with the live video. This is the first time I tried, so I'm sorry I'm a couple of minutes late. Welcome. Um, this is uh, this uh, yoga class is intended just to get your mo body warm and moving and ready for the rest of the day. So we're going to start in a comfortable seated position. So either on the floor or on the mat, on the floor or on a chair. And then just start by allowing your sitting bones to sink down into the mat or the chair. And from there, allow your back to be straight and roll your shoulders back and away from your ears, hands on your thighs. And if it's okay for you, you can close your eyes. And just start by bringing your attention inwards. So bring your attention towards your body to begin with. So feel the tip of your toes and move your attention slowly upward through your feet, your heels, your ankles, and then through your legs. And feel your glutes, your hips, your back your belly, your chest, and feel your hands and your thighs, and your arms, your neck, and your face. And then bring your attention towards your general shape, you most probably just woke up. So how do you feel this morning? And lastly, bring your attention to your breath. Don't change it, just notice. Where do you notice that you're breathing? And then on your next exhale, allow yourself to exhale completely. And inhale, long and smooth inhale. And exhale again. So on your inhale, count to four or to five and pause for a second. And on your exhale, count to four, to five, two, and pause for a second. And just continue like this. Try to establish a pattern, a rhythm that is soothing, that is relaxing. And on each inhale, feel your back getting a bit longer, a little bit lighter. And on your exhale, relax your body. Try to relax your jaw, your neck, the space between your eyebrows. Two more rounds here before we start our warm up. Remember to exhale completely. One more full breath. And try to keep this breath throughout the practice. So we'll stand up. So keep your feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward, and allow your feet to ground well into the mat and roll the shoulders back and down. And on your next inhale, bring your chin up towards the ceiling, and on your exhale, down towards your chest. And again, inhale up and exhale down. Relax your shoulders. Inhale up, exhale down. Your, long, your spine is long and good. Inhale up and exhale down. And four more. Inhale and exhale. And your attention to your back muscles, to your neck muscles. Exhale. And two more. And 
And last one. Exhale. Bring your head up again. Now we're going to tilt the head from side to side. So on your inhale, tilt your head towards the left. And then your exhale towards the right. And again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Try to relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Keep pushing your feet gently down towards the mat. And allow your spine to be long. And four more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And two more. And last one. Exhale. And come back to center. Now we're going to turn the head from side to side. So inhale, turn to the left. And exhale to the right. And again, inhale. And exhale. So be gentle. Uh, try not to push too hard. Go there where you feel that you feel the muscles of your neck. And maybe you also feel the muscles alongside your spine. But be gentle. And four more. Two more. Don't forget your breath. Last one. And back to center. Hands to your shoulders, we'll make circles with the elbows. So on your inhale, bring your elbows back and around. And on your exhale, bring them in front of your chest. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Big circles, feel your shoulder blades moving on the top of your back. So they come together when you bring your elbows back and they move apart from each other when you bring your elbows in front of your chest. Try to remember to keep your feet well grounded on the mat. And four more. Relax your jaw and your forehead. And two more. And last one. And pause at the end of your exhale. And reverse the movement. Inhale on the way up and back. Exhale on the way down and forward. And four more. Two more. And last one. Exhale completely. And relax your hands. Now bring your arms in front of you. Keep your elbows slightly bent. And then your inhale, bring your arms above your head. Exhale, elbows towards your waist. And again, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, use the muscles, your back muscles, to bring your elbows down. And again, inhale. And exhale, open your chest. You can look up on your inhale if you want to. And exhale. And five more. Inhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Finish your exhale, pause, and reverse the movements. So round your back a little bit when you bring your arms in front of you. 
and open your chest in your inhale and exhale round your upper back a little bit and again inhale open your chest exhale and five more inhale and exhale three more Two more. And last one. And exhale. And relax your arms. So now open your legs a bit wider than your hips. Bend your knees a little bit. And bring your hands to your waist. So on your inhale, tilt your, your tailbone out. And on your exhale, bring it in. So you're moving your pelvis. Inhale and exhale. This one is very nice if you have a tendency to have a tight lower back. Very simple movement. Very good. Uh, try to keep your lower belly slightly uh, tucked in. We'll do five more. So inhale and exhale. So keep feeling your feet grounded on the mat. Big toes and the heel and the base of your toes. And three more. Two more. And last one. Exhale. Now we're going to make circles with the hips. So on your inhale, bring your tailbone out again and to the side. And on your exhale, bring your pelvis forward and around. So inhale back and around. Exhale forward and around. So try to keep your shoulders steady. Might be a bit of a weird movement for you and that's okay. You can make it a little bit more mechanic by just thinking okay back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward, side. And we do four more. Exhale, three more. Bend your knees, that helps a little bit. And last one, exhale completely and pause and reverse the movement. So inhale and exhale. So it seems like here in Trondheim is going to be a good day, a nice day. It's sunny and I don't think it's that cold. So that's nice. The sun is coming back. Three more. And last one. Exhale. And come back to center. So now we're going to do one that can be a little bit challenging. So if you need to, grab a chair or a wall and have it close to you. So stand on your right foot, bring your left knee up and start making circles with your knee. This is very nice for your hip joint. But if you find it very challenging to keep your balance, just hold on something. And again, follow your breath. So inhale up, exhale down. And inhale up, exhale down. Make sure that it's only the hip joint that is moving and not your whole body, right? So just the knee. And we do three more. Try to relax your shoulders. Two more. And last one. Pause at the end of your exhale and move the, uh, make circles the other way around. And five more. If you lose your balance, if you're not holding yourself into something, just have fun with it. It's not such a big deal. And four more. Three more. Two more. And last one. If you're holding a chair, move it to the other side. This one is too heavy, so I'm not going to move it. But now stand on your right foot and lift your, sorry, your left foot. Lift your right knee up and start making circles. Exhale. 
right here a little bit of crackle pop that's normal that's okay as long as it doesn't hurt and four more three more two more and last one stop and reverse so moving the joints is very good for the joints of course and uh, in certain uh, yoga hatha yoga traditions it is believed that that helps the body that, that allows energy to flow in the body easier um, there's a book i can't remember the name where there are many different exercises and it's called pawan muktasana the kind of exercises with your joints and last one exhale completely and relax okay last one here before we start doing some salutations come to all fours so hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips so remember to spread your fingers wide apart from each other and use the base of your fingers to support your hands so press your hands into the mat roll your elbow slightly inward stick your chest out and your tailbone out inhale look up and on your exhale round your back chin towards your chest and again inhale look up and exhale round your back and continue inhale and exhale so this is called cat cow very nice also for the back exhale and we'll do four more so when you exhale try to bring your lower belly slightly in and three more two more exhale and last one and exhale completely and relax good so come to the top of your mat we're gonna do one variation of some salutes this morning there are so many it's so much fun to do some salutations um, and I'll give you two variations of the same variation so uh, just follow what feels comfortable what allows you to continue breathing deeply so if you feel that you're getting uh, short of breath go down to the first step so we're going to do the first one first. So, of course, first one first. So feet hip width apart. Press both feet to the ground and from there allow your legs to be strong. And roll your shoulders back and away from your ears, fingertips pointing down. Exhale. And on your inhale, bring your arms above your head. Bend your knees and exhale, fall forward. Just halfway, hands to your shins. Inhale, look up. And now allow your torso to fall down. Take a deep breath here. Exhale completely. Fingertips to the mat and on your next inhale, bring your right leg back. Exhale, right knee down, look up. One breath here, inhale. And exhale. Both hands to the mat, inhale, your left knee meets the right one back. And on your exhale, bring your chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead down. And on your inhale, push yourself back towards your knees. And either go into child's pose here. Or if it's part of your practice, you can go into downward dog here. If you're in downward dog, remember to use your hands wisely so press the base of your fingers and your fingertips into the mat finger fingers are spread apart from each other and lift your sitting bones up you can bend your knees a little bit and push your heels down and try to relax your head one more full breath here exhale completely and on your inhale right bring your right leg forward you can help it if you want to just grab your uh, ankle and bring it slightly forward left knee down open your chest inhale and exhale 
And on your inhale, bring your left leg forward, look up and fold. Full breath here. Then your knees and with a straight back, come all the way up, arms above your hair, palms together, thumbs to your chest. Okay, we'll do that on the left side. Inhale, bend your knees, fall halfway forward. Hands to your shins, look up and fold. Full breath here, exhale. Clean your tips to the mat, left leg back, left knee down, exhale. Inhale, look up, exhale. Hands to the mat, right knee back, and exhale, chin, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, push yourself back. And again, either into child's pose or downward facing dog. So again, listen to your body. Sometimes we try to push our body too much and that's not good. So if downward dog makes you lose your breath, makes you feel too uncomfortable, stay in child's pose. One more full breath. Exhale. On your inhale, bring your left leg forward, right knee down. Inhale, look up. Exhale. And on your inhale, bring your right leg forward, look up, keep your knees bent and fold. So push your sitting bones up. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Finish your exhale here. And bend your knees and your inhale, come all the way up, arms up, hands together, thumbs to your heart. We'll do exactly the same, again, right and left. So inhale, arms out of your head, bend your knees, exhale, fold forward, hands to your shins. Inhale, look up and exhale, fold. Full breath here, inhale and exhale. Fingertips to the mat, inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, look up, roll your shoulders away from your ears and exhale. Hands to the mat, inhale, bring your leg back and chin and chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead down. And inhale, push yourself back to your knees. Exhale, downward dog or child's pose. Full breath. Remember, sitting bones up, heels down. You can keep your knees bent. Press your hands into the mat and push yourself away from them to lengthen your back. One more full breath here. And inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale. Inhale, left leg forward, look up. And fold. You can say no and yes with your head just to release some tension. Finish your exhale here, bend your knees and on your inhale come all the way up. Palms together thumbs to the heart and again left side inhale bend your knees fold forward hands to your shins inhale look up and exhale fold full breath here exhale bring your tips to the mat inhale left leg back exhale left knee down inhale open your chest Exhale, both hands to the mat, bring your right leg back and chin chest to the mat. Elbows point backwards, inhale, look up, exhale, forehead down. Inhale, push yourself back, 
and either child's pose or downward facing dog. Full breath. Keep pushing your heels down even though they don't touch the mat and your sitting bones pointing upwards. One more full breath. Exhale. On your inhale, bring your left leg forward. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale. Inhale, right leg forward, look up. Hands to your shins and fold. Full breath here. Exhale completely. And inhale, come all the way up. Palms together, thumbs to the heart. We're gonna do a little variation. Two more rounds here. So inhale, arms to your head. Bend your knees, exhale, fold forward, hands to your shins. Inhale, look up and fold. Remember that it's not that important how far you fall forward, but it's how you fall forward. So be mindful of your back, keep your knees slightly bent, but push your sitting on bones up towards the ceiling. Now on your next inhale, bring your right leg back, right knee down, and on your inhale, either you stay as we've been doing or bring your arms above your head, exhale, shoulders down, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, bring your left leg back. Exhale, chin, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead down. Push yourself back to your knees on your inhale and stay here in child's pose or go into downward dog. Three full breaths here. One more full breath, exhale, and on your inhale, bring your right leg forward, left knee down, either stay here or bring your arms above your head, exhale, shoulders down, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, hands down, and right, left leg forward, look up, and fold. Full breath here. Bend your knees and come all the way up, arms above your head, palms together, thumbs to your heart. Exactly the same thing on the left side. Inhale, bend your knees and fall forward. Hands to your shins, inhale, look up and fold. Full breath here. Exhale. Bring your tips to the mat, left leg back, left knee down, either stay here or arms above your head, exhale, shoulders down, lift your torso, inhale, and hands down, right leg back, chin, chest down, cobra, and forehead down. Push yourself back on your inhale and child's pose or downward facing dog. Three full breaths. If you're in child's pose, allow your upper body to sink down into your thighs and your glutes sink down into your heels. Try to relax your face and your jaw, shoulders. Finish your last exhale here. And then your inhale, left leg forward, right knee down, arms above your head, shoulders down, inhale, and hands down, exhale, right leg forward, look up, and fold, full breath. With a long spine, come all the way up, arms over head, 
palms together, thumbs to the heart. And very last round, right and left, inhale and fold. Look up and fold. Full breath. Fingertips to the mat, right leg back, right knee down, arms above your head, shoulders down, lengthen, and hands down, left knee back, and chin chest down. Inhale, Cobra, forehead down. Push yourself back on your inhale and downward dog or child's pose. Full breath. And on your next inhale, bring your right leg forward, left knee down, arms above your head. Shoulders down, inhale, lengthen, both hands down, left leg forward, look up, and fold. One full breath here, bend your knees, and on your inhale, come all the way up, arms up above your head, palms together, thumbs to your head, and very last one, inhale and fold. Look up and fold. Full breath. Fingertips to the mat, left leg back, left knee down, arms above your head. Exhale, lengthen and hands down. Right leg back, chin chest down, inhale look up, and forehead down, push yourself back, and child's pose, or downward dog, full breath, two more, And finish your last exhale. On your inhale, bring your left leg forward. Right knee down. Arms above your head. Shoulders down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down. Left leg forward, look up. And fold. Full breath. Exhale. You come all the way up, arms above your head, palms together, thumbs to the heart. So some salutations are very good to establish a rhythm of movement and breath that can be very soothing and relaxing for both, both the mind and the body. And that is why it's very important that you pay really attention to what is happening when you're doing them. If they are very new to you, it's better to stay at each step a couple of more breaths so you calm down your body instead of feeling that all the time you're getting short of breath. So try to uh, experiment a bit with that. I hope it felt good. So now we're going to do uh, just a little bit of uh, stretching on the mat and a little relaxation. So you can lie down on your back. I'm going to have my head facing that way. So lie down on your back, bend your knees and bring your right heel to your left thigh and lift your legs up and grab hold either of the back of your thigh or your shin. Try to keep your shoulders rolled back and just enjoy the stretch on your glutes. Try to relax the whole back on the mat. So if this is very challenging, if you cannot hold your legs unless you're here, 
rather bring your leg down and stay here. I'm sure you already feel it anyhow. Take deep breaths here. Two more full breaths. Allow yourself really now to relax. Last full breath. Now lengthen your left leg on the mat, toes pointing up. Keep your right knee up. Bring your right arm to the side and start bringing your knee towards the side. So here again, don't push it. It's really where you feel the stretch on your glute, on your back. Maybe you also feel it on your chest. It can be flying here, there is no problem. If you have something to put under, if that feels more comfortable, if you have blocks at home or a bolster, you can do that. And two more full breaths. And slowly come back to center and now bring your left heel to your right thigh and grab hold of the back of your thigh or your shin or keep it on the floor whatever is better to keep the pose easy I mean you feel the stretch but it shouldn't feel that your whole body is uh, fighting <laughs> against the pose deep breaths Relax your jaw, relax your neck. And two more full breaths. Lengthen your right leg on the mat, left arm on the side bring your left knee towards the right side so ideally you should try to not lift your right uh, sorry your left upper back from the mat your shoulder should stay put so that's why you shouldn't go that far deep breaths Again, try to relax your jaw and your neck. Two more full breaths. And slowly come back to center and lie down in Shavasana. So if you need something under your knees, use a cushion or some blocks. Otherwise, you can have your legs as wide as the mat let your legs just fall to the side your feet sorry roll your shoulders away from your ears palms facing up chin slightly tucked in just try to sink down into the pose so now we can do some soothing breathing so inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth and again inhale and exhale and really if you need to complain a little bit it feels nice in the chest complain a little bit so just continue like this breathing in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth and just allow your body to feel heavy on the mat feel your heels and the back of your legs your glutes, your whole back and the back of your head. And try to relax your thighs and your belly muscles. And on each exhale, allow your chest to sink a little bit further down. Bring your attention to your face. And separate your 
don't don't press your teeth together so just allow your teeth to relax your jaw to relax let your tongue float in your mouth relax the space between your eyebrows and your forehead just allow yourself to be for a couple of minutes more if you feel that you want to go back to your regular breath go back to your regular breath Whenever you catch yourself engaging in thoughts, bring back your attention to the here and now, your body on the mat, your breath. Take a deep inhale and exhale and again inhale and exhale and slowly gently bend your knees bring your feet to the mat and roll towards the right side and stay there for a couple of breaths And then slowly push yourself up to sit it again. Again, sit tall on your sitting bones. Bring your palms together. Close your eyes. And just take this time to thank yourself for dedicating some time for your, to yourself. And try to set an intention for how you want your day to be today and what can you do to have a day as you want it to be. We most of the time don't have much control over what is happening around us but we have control over our attitudes and our actions and reactions. And that is very empowering. So try to remember that throughout the day. I'm going to take three deep breaths through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So exhale completely and inhale. Exhale and again inhale. Exhale and last one inhale. And exhale. Oh, namaste. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you felt good after this practice and I wish you a good day.